Okay, so I'm gonna start out with this right here. This is a safety pin, and this is gonna have, I'm gonna have two on this one thing right here. So the first one is gonna be to hold hooks. This is really useful to hold hooks. Like here, I'll find a hook. Just give me a sec. Okay, so I have my hooks now. So basically what you're gonna wanna do is this is gonna help you organize your hooks better. Uh, this one is basically on every fishing life hack video that I've seen. So this is very common, so I just knew I had to add this in my video. Okay, so the second use for this is actually gonna be used for the rod. And what I have here is I had a broken guide. So basically what I did with this, I'm gonna show this to you closer. You can see I just used fishing line and some tape to put this down. So what I did with this right here is I bent this. I don't know if you can see that good, but I bent it so that this is going to be the eye and the line will guide through it. So I basically just bent it up and then I used this extra right here to tape down and hold a support so that I could thread the line for this hole right here. Okay, so for number three, I'm not really sure if this is considered a hack, but this is number three, is to have a tackle backpack. These are going to be really useful for whenever you're bass fishing uh, off of the bank, because you're going to need to walk around a lot if you see, like, fish moving around or anything. And my suggestion would ha have it be um, probably under 50 pounds, which, I mean, that that's actually a lot, but, like, just make sure you don't have it super heavy. So you can just carry around some basic tackle that you're going to need at the lake that you're at. And so, yeah, fishing hack number three is tackle backpack. Okay, so number four is actually going to be for the rod. And for number four, what this is, is this is for having a better grip on your rod. And you, you may have seen products that have, like, grips for your rod. But a cheaper solution would just be to go get tennis grips and wrap your rod up in those. Because those are going to be a lot cheaper than those custom made fishing ones. And that's what I'm using. And they'll give you really good um, grip. Probably almost better than some of the other fishing ones. Because they're made for like tennis. And so that's what I have on this rod right here. I can't really get it close to the camera because it's going to hit my ceiling. But this is a really good hack right here. It'll help you, it's like a lot more comfortable, and yeah. Okay, so hack number five is actually going to be another one using a backpack. But for this one, we're going to be using the cup holder slot right here. So basically what I've done with this is I've taken the cup holder slot, and I've cut a hole through the bottom right here. I don't know if you can see it, but... Up on this side. So I've cut a hole through the bottom right here, as you can see. And what that's going to help you do is if you have your tackle bag full of like lures and stuff and you cannot fit your rod inside, what you can do is you can take your rod, put it right through. So if you want to be hands free, you can have your reel. Um, you can have a clip. You can clip on the rod right here. This is a really bad demonstration, but basically you can have your rod sitting in your backpack. You can do it in two pieces or one. I would consider getting a two piece if you're going to be having it in your bag like this so it doesn't hit a tree or something and snap. But yeah, you're going to want it so that it can go through basically to where the reel is. And this will be really useful if your bag is filled with stuff and you can't just like stick it in your bag. So here's number five. Okay guys, so for this hack what we did is we just got some nails right here. And we put them into the wall so that we could make rod holders. 
basically like this. Here I'll back up so you guys can see. So that's what it looks like. So this is what I'm using to store some of my rods. Um, what we do is we put two, one on the bottom and one on top, so you can actually keep two rods on each one. And so there's no like big rod holder things in the way. And you can keep the reels on it, which is good. And we have this right here, but this, we didn't like make this. We bought this, but it wasn't originally for fishing rods. So we have some fishing rods on here. Oh, this is the this is the best one I own. But yeah, so here's another one. Okay, guys. So this one's actually gonna be the Altoids container one. And this is in, I've only seen this in one other video, and this is in, uh, Brendan Miller's, uh, life ha fishing life hacks video, and I use this myself, so what you do is you have it open, and then you basically can just store lures in here, if you need to store any lures separate from all your other ones, or you can just basically use a bunch of these as your tackle box. And this is a really convenient way to just store tackle. I have a couple of these laying around that I use for my tackle box. And you can also use the mini ones, the mini Altoid containers to store them as well. So that's another one. This is the next life hack that I have to show you. And what we have now is this is the DIY bobbers. And what I've done with this is I've basically got a wine cork right here. And I stuck a straw through it. But to get the straw through, you have to use a power drill or a screwdriver, which I've used power drills so I can make a lot more. And you can do them in all different sizes. And I just put a straw through it so it'll fit in like this. And what you can do is you can stick the line through. So you can stick the line through the cork right here. And then once the line's through, to keep the line tight, all you have to do just push this over the line that's threaded through this and then this should stay on good and another plus about this is since it's this cork right here it will not shatter unlike these bobbers right here if you're fishing some kind of concrete and it slams on it this might shatter these right here won't this is my other design I've been using for this and I just tied line around it so that whenever you take it out like this they won't come separated right here so this is a really good life hack I found as you see I've painted some of these and yeah so this is a really good life hack right here for fishing so here's the next one we have here so I was given these by my friend Nick uh, I'll link his channel in the description but these are actually homemade lures like right here, this is actually a crankbait right here. And this is some kind of topwater crawfish. And this is another topwater popper. But he handmade all of these right here. These right here. Out of just little corks. And I dropped one. But basically he just used wire to make these right here. And they don't seem like they're going to be coming out. As I'm trying to pull on them. But guys, comment below if you want to see me do these in a fishing video. See if I can catch any fish on these. This one's supposed to be a crankbait right here. But I mean, I'm really impressed on how I made these. So I, I could probably add some hooks onto these. There's a couple more, but I don't know where they went. So yeah, comment below if you want to see me use these. This is another one. You can basically just paint and uh, carve out lures out of cork. Just like this one. Okay guys, so this hack right here is going to be a DIY minnow trap made out of just a water bottle and cork and some line. So what you're going to want to do first, or I'm going to show you how this is made right here. So I actually kind of reinforced this one. So what you do with the water bottle is you just cut off the top right here about... Um, well, it depends what kind of bottle you're using, but you want to cut off the top, and you're going to want to cut off the 
um, screw on lid that usually comes on it so that you have a wide hole right here and what's gonna happen is if you put bait in here the minnows are gonna swim through and they're gonna try to come out and then they're gonna get stuck with th these little things and they're and but if you keep bait in here you might be able to just trap them and they'll just be sitting in there And as soon as you see them what you do is you leave this out in the water as soon as you see them you can pull up on this and you can get them so the way I reinforced it is I just use a stapler and I stapled it and then to get the line in I used a hole puncher and I hole punched it right here so that the line could stay in and then I can use this so that I wouldn't have to go back into the water to be able to retrieve it so I put line on it so this is another good fishing hack okay so this next hack I have here is going to be changing the color of lures to the color that you want Okay, so basically what I did here is I have some zoom trick worms along with this color that I really like right here. So what I do is I get some good lures and then I have some cut up lures that I've saved of the colors that I've liked. But they got cut up somehow if I'm using them for a trailer or something. And then basically what I do is I combine them with lures with colors that don't usually tend to work for me with these like these are like this kind of color right here that's how they started off and then once I added this in I just let it sit in the package for probably about a week or so like I wasn't really paying attention and then I came back and it was like more of this color right here and then this I found out that this color right here tends to work better at the ponds uh, that are around my house so that could actually be a really good way to get colors you want without having to go out and buy buy new colors by putting different colors in and mixing them together. Okay, thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And the, I just showed you 10 fishing life hacks that hopefully helped you. And once again, thank you for watching this video. And... I still don't have a catchphrase. Goodbye.